Turbocharger and intercooler are inseparable components on a diesel engine. What is the reason? In this video, I will create a 3D model of turbo intercooler diesel engine to understand why the diesel engine need that two components. Tur Turbochargers are centrifugal compressors driven by an exhaust gas turbine and employed in engines to boost the charge air pressure. The effect, the airflow will increase. The increase of airflow will increase the number of its mass. In simple way, turbocharger will increase the amount of air that's sucked into the combustion chamber. Intercooler is a cooling component, its function to cool the air before it come into the combustion chamber. The effect of both component will make the performance of the diesel engine increase significantly. The be more understand, let's discuss it in more detail. In diesel engine, we know the material which is sucked into the combustion chamber is only fresh air. It means no fuel mixture on the air where sucked into the combustion chamber. More air where sucked, it means more power result on the combustion. This the job of turbocharger and intercooler. Both component will maximize the air to make the engine run more powerful. If we disassemble the turbo, we will see a turbine. Even only have a turbine, it has two fans. The first fan, I called it drive fan. This fan located on the exhaust channel of the engine. While another fan is driven fan. This fan located on the intake channel. Both fans connected on a shaft creating a turbine. So that when the engine starts, the exhaust gases will pass the drive fan. It makes the turbine rotate. This rotation will rotate another fan so that the driver fan will boost the air pressure from the outside and pull it to passes the intake manifold. In turbine shaft, we will see two oil channels. One channel used to insert oil from engine oil circulation system and one channel used to send the oil back to circulation. So. These channels will provide lubrication for the turbine to prevent friction. And the turbine has ability to rotate in high speed. Another part in the turbocharger system is variable geometry actuator. It is like a valve to control the speed of turbine. Just like we know that turbocharger work with exhaust gases. The pressure of exhaust gases depends on how the engine running. If the turbine run fast, it will boost large amount of air to intake manifold. Of course, it will make the torque Q of engine greater, but the engine difficult to reach top speed. So that we need a component to control it. VGT is a component to do this job. VGT work as a valve to control the exhaust gases where passes the driven fan of turbine. But we still have a problem. This exhaust gases are high temperature. When it passes the turbocharger, it will heat around, and the heat certainly influences the temperature on the driven fan area. This condition will rise the temperature of intake air. The higher the air temperature, the bigger the molecules. It means at higher temperature, we only boost fewer molecules. Of course, fewer molecule causing little mass of airflow. So in simple way, the rise of temperature of air causing the engine power drop. That's why we need additional component called intercooler. Intercooler is radiator identic component. Just like radiator, its shapes and function is almost same. The different radiator cool the water and intercooler cool the intake air. Because it uses to cool the air intake, intercooler located between turbocharger and intake manifold. The work principle is also the same with radiator. We will see a series of air channel this channel connecting inlet tank and outlet tank. Of course, inlet tank used to accommodate hot air from the turbo, then the air shared to each channel. Between this air channel, the air a series of cooling fins. It use as heat propagation, so the heat from the air will move to the channel. After that, the heat will move to cooling fins. A cooling fan will rotate, causing an air flow through the cooling fins. This flow will take out the heat so that the air that come to outlet tank has lower temperature. This low temperature air have smaller molecules. 
so that inside the cylinder, there are more molecules that can be accommodate, more air, causing higher compression ratio. It makes the diesel fuel easier to burn, so the engine will run more efficient. Even the turbocharger has variable geometry actuator. That's not mean the engine doesn't need any valve. Still, it need a valve to control the RPM. This valve located after the intercooler. That's how the turbocharger worked to make the engine power increase. Subscribe my channel and stay tuned for another video.